Hi everyone, welcome back to RK Treasure Center. Well, we've got a lot going on in today's video. We're gonna talk about some items that sold. We're gonna talk about who's the winner of the giveaway from last week's video. And we're also gonna talk about a mistake that many online sellers make, and that might be you. Hi everyone, my name is Roy, and if this is the first time you've ever viewed this channel, well, my wife and I are resellers, which means we go to garage sales, estate sales, thrift shops, flea markets, just about where, anywhere we can to find undervalued items flip for profit. And this is our online reselling room called the RK Treasure Center. So I want to start off this video by talking about the first item that we sold, because I usually start off my videos of what sold. And the first item that sold is going to be up here so i want to talk about this item and it kind of leads to why a lot of resellers are making mistakes first of all let me just say that these are shiny bright christmas ornaments they're all red and this is a vintage package probably about 30 years old and the package is pretty good vintage shiny bright christmas ornaments sell for really good money keep an eye out around christmas time when you go to your goodwills or your thrift shops or your flea market your garage sales estate sales and look for christmas ornaments especially the ones that are very ornate and have a lot of detail they'll bring in a lot more money these shiny brights sold for 24 dollars 99 so why do i want to talk about this as a mistake well it's not so much christmas ornaments but resellers are making a big big mistake most of the time they have things like this and they stockpile them and they don't list them till it's about that holiday time but right now this is february and in February, I just sold some Christmas ornaments, which is not going to be there for another 10 and a half more months. Christmas is still 10 and a half months away. But resellers are finding things all the time in a stockpile they put away, or they don't pick those items up, the ones that make money, because it's not that time of year. Give you a good example. How many of you are mowing your yard in February? Well, down here in the very southern tip of Texas, it's a very warm climate and we mow our yards pretty much all year round. So if I need a replacement lawnmower blade or something like that, I still got to get it. I still got to go to the store or I look online. And if you're a reseller who's not selling something that's just seasonal or just holiday and you're not selling it all year round, you're making a big mistake. We go swimming all year round down here. So bathing suits are something that's needed. Maybe in your area or wherever you are, maybe wintertime lasts a lot longer than other places. So people in warmer climates, like where I'm at or Florida or even in California or somewhere where it's down south and it's warm along Arizona or something, maybe you're looking at, well, I'm not gonna sell any more jackets because winter's pretty much over. But what about people up north? What about people in Alaska, Canada? What about other countries? these people are still buying that stuff and if you're offering it in your online retail store or whatever it is you're selling on your whatever platform you're selling on if you're not offering those seasonal holiday things all year around you're missing out somebody could be doing a christmas in july and they're going to go ahead and start getting that stuff now or maybe they're having some decoration they want to do and they needed that color so go ahead and list those items go ahead and list your seasonal and holiday items all year round so I've been doing a lot of listing and posting items and I've been putting a lot of stuff in this bin right here and I sold several items out of this bin. So we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna talk about them real quick. The first one being this Farberware coffee percolator. Old coffee per percolator sell for pretty good. This one is used and you can, might be able to see some of how it just looks used by the reflections and the light. And this vintage percolator is complete and it sold for $17.95 plus shipping. Next is a lid. And I know what you're thinking, okay, lids. Well, I've mentioned all the time that I like to sell pirates lids or lids for pots. This is a vented glass lid with a rubber handle. This one is for a 10 inch pot. People need replacement lids. And if they're special, unique or fit certain brands, they'll sell for good money. This one will fit a lot of copper top or a lot of pots that are just 10 inches and it's a very common size but it's a vented lid this one also fit, fits the pampered chef and like i said just many other ones this one sold for ten dollars plus shipping you can find these all day long for 25 cents to a dollar depending on where you go another item that i sold out of the bin is going to be back here in the back and it's this right here 
This is a Miro loaf pan. The top slides off. It can be used for cooking meatloaf. It can be used for cooking all kinds of things. This is a very vintage loaf pan. Probably, I would say, could even be 50s, 60s, or 70s, somewhere in that nature. And this little pan right here, again, is something you can pick up for 25, 50 cents, maybe a dollar. And this sold for $15.99 plus shipping. So keep an eye out for just about those kind of things. If anything that sells, check your sold comps. You'll be surprised at what things will sell for and profits you can be making. All right, I sold a coffee mug, which is always a good thing to sell. In fact, I sold this one right here. This is a Magnolia Street Market mug, and it comes from Waco, Texas. And if you know Magnolia or heard of Magnolia, you'll know about the TV show that this comes from. This sold for $12.99 plus shipping. All right, I sold this. This is a cordless phone. It's in the bag, but you can see it. It has this little stand and charger with the batteries. This sold for $18.95, and this is a Panasonic. And a lot of times, cordless phones will sell for good money, even though this isn't the main phone. This is just an extra. This is still a thrift shop find where I only paid $1.99 for it. Good profit. This is a large 5X jacket, and it's made by State Property. It's a really, really good jacket, and I was happy whenever I found it. This sold for $27 plus shipping, and this was a $2 thrift store buy. So many times I go ahead and wrap up certain boxes because I want to keep the items protected or because they're just maybe bulky, heavy, or if I'm selling things in big lots, then I'll go ahead and wrap them up. Well, this item in here, I'll show you a picture of it, is a variable air pressure system for a mattress. It usually falls under a medical mattress, which regulates air pressure. So if people are having any kind of issues that that mattress helps them out, this air pump is something that I found and you have to be careful when anytime you're looking at reselling something that be considered medical you want to make sure it's not an rx item or prescription item because those will get you banned on many platforms or they'll get dropped and you can get in trouble for selling that kind of stuff so always do your research before just going out and buying it if you see it at a garage sale or a thrift shop but as long as it doesn't have an RX or it's not a prescribed type item, you'll be just fine. This sold for $30 plus shipping. So I sold a baby monitor and that's this one right here. This is the Graco Baby Sounds Baby Monitor. This was actually an open box thrift store item for $1.99. And I opened it, looked at it. It had never been used. The box had been open. I did undo some of it and test it and i listed it as an open box item in the description this sold for 15 dollars 99 plus shipping all right so i sold these items right here learn to read hebrew in six weeks and it's actually two books and a study guide you've got the main book then you've got this uh little study guide right here which actually is a little laminated sheet and then you got the hebrew workbook textbook there that's written exercises well all three of these right here are being sold online separately and everywhere i looked that's the way it was i could not find all three of these together but all three of these do go together people that sell textbooks and workbooks and things like that online try to make the most money so a lot of times they'll sell things separately or i'm not sure the reason but all three of these do go together and if you're studying to learn to read hebrew you're going to need all three of these to make it work well i decided to go ahead and list all three of these together since they're supposed to go together now online separately most people were selling like these little books right here for like nine nine dollars nine nine cents uh media mail shipping some of that was free some of that they were charging shipping some of it had a little higher prices some had a little lower prices so i went ahead and lotted all three of these together and listed them and they sold very quickly probably within 48 hours for 30 dollars plus media mail shipping so sometimes that's the best thing to do to make the best profit is put stuff together like they're supposed to be and sell it that way well if you watched last week's video you know we're having a giveaway so let's go see what those items are that we're giving away and who the winners are before we get started on the drawing i did sell two record albums i sold bill anderson and this one sold for $5.99 plus shipping, goes out media mail, and sold Diana Ross. And this one sold for $11.69, 
plus shipping. So, still selling records. All right, let me get Kim so we can do this drawing. So I'm inside the house with my beautiful wife, Kim. We're giving away these two $25 eBay gift cards to two lucky winners. And she's going to do the random pick to figure out who those winners are. Good luck, everybody. You ready to do this? Yep. All right, here, let me hold the cards. All right, and we've already got the URL set up. You can see that right there. We're going to filter out duplicate users and... We're going to include replies to comments that I did reply to some comments. We're going to see how many people left comments and how many people are eligible. Okay, there it is. The amount of you community comments is 65. So let's go ahead and go to the start. Okay, so right here, we're going to go ahead and click the start. And we're going to see who the winner is of the first $25 eBay giveaway. And that is going to be... Dallas Flipping. Glad to see you guys back in the swing of things. Congratulations, Dallas Flipping. You're a winner. And I'll tell you here in a minute how to contact me. And we'll go ahead and pick another winner. And the second winner for the second $25 eBay gift card is Rusty. Rusty, Rusty Chamberlain. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Rusty. All right. Dallas Flippin and Rusty Chamberlain, you are the winners of the $25 eBay gift cards. You can contact me through my Instagram, which I'll show right here, or you could contact me through my Gmail, which I'll also show you. The links to those will also be in the description. So there's plenty of ways for you to get a hold of us at RK Treasure Center and get a hold of Kim and I so we can find out how we can mail these to you. So we appreciate it very much. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you like today's video, what are they gonna need to do? They need to click the like button and subscribe. There you right. go, straight from Kimmy's <laughs> mouth. Thanks everyone, take care, bye-bye. <laughs>